My name is Greg Brown. I'm a training officer with the Elkhart County Sheriff's Department. I'm Officer Trondle, and I'm a corrections officer at Elkhart County Sheriff's Department. The COPAT, which stands for Correction Officer Physical Agility Test, is done in five parts. The first part is a 500 meter run. Then there's the dummy drag and handcuffing, a 200 meter run, then a weight carry, and the last part is a handgun. In the 500 meter run, you start at uh, one end of the jail, which is down at Cape Hot, or sort of max area, and you literally just run from one end of the jail to the other. The importance of the first portion, the 500 meter run, is to signify you making that long distance um, additional response. Getting to wherever the officer is that needs additional, that's half the battle. You have to be able to get there and then be able to assist. The dummy drag they're picking up, uh, it doesn't matter if it's in a fireman's carry, if they can pick it up or drag it by the shoulders, however they can carry it that 50 feet to get it out of that area, that's how they need to get that dummy out of the area and then uh, handcuff it. The reason for this portion of the test is to signify you actually getting hands-on with an inmate and potentially dragging him out of a situation or in a worst case scenario, dragging a down officer. Uh, the third portion of the test after the handcuff and drag is you'll have to turn around and run back 200 meters um, and up one flight of stairs into the gym area. The 200 meter run is uh, in case an officer shows up at an emergency, uh, they have to be able to run up a flight of stairs because there are stairs in the wards, there are um, two floors. Uh, and then they, have, they might have to go to a different part of the jail to get uh, some kind of medical equipment or uh, other equipment that is used during an emergency situation. And they have to be able to run and go get that. The fourth portion is the physical effort portion. And what you'll have to do is pick up two 40 pound dumbbells and you'll have to carry them 50 feet across the gym, set them down, turn around, pick them back up and walk back that same 50 feet. Uh, officers have to be able to carry up to 80 pounds and carry it a distance. Some of our equipment is heavy. In an emergency situation, we have uh, SCBA tanks that you would wear during um, if there was a fire and those are pretty heavy. Uh, or there's other equipment that we use, such as uh, pepper ball, and they, that equipment has to be carried. The fifth and final portion is the firearms portion, where you will have to load, chamber, and clear three malfunctions in each hand. The handgun part of the test simulates uh, malfunctions, which is a required part of our handgun qualification. Uh, in a real life situation, if there was uh, uh, an officer was been involved in a shooting, they have to be able to shoot with both hands. Uh, and if there were a malfunction, uh, you have to be able to clear that malfunction. To complete the coat pat, uh, there's the 500 meter run, the dummy drag and handcuffing, the 200 meter run, the physical effort and the handgun has to be completed within five minutes. You need to keep in mind that these are just the basic requirements to be considered for a position as a corrections officer, but you need to be able to handle anything that's thrown at you which could far exceed these basic requirements.